What's going on, guys? Happy day to everybody. Uh, Terrence McCoy here. My uh, my wife was going to get on video with me, and then she thought, no, I'm shy. She's a little camera shy, which I don't understand that at all. I probably should, <laughs> because I'll say anything. So We wrote this blog about uh, worship. Uh, we finished it today. And uh, first water and then wine. He <clears throat> didn't walk over and just, you know, abracadabra in Jesus' name. He had specific instructions for the disciples to uh, fill stone jars to the brim all the way to the top. And he turned it, the water, into wine. And I thought that was amazing. What was I saying? Oh, I, I would dare to say that we definitely live in, in a time where uh, we try to make things happen on our own. I'm not saying I think we do that on purpose, but I am saying that I believe we do that. We, um, we follow so many big, bigger churches, uh, huge churches that are write, writing great songs. And I know, I know we write songs and we, we have things on our heart and we share, but we, uh, we're always looking for that great song, So Will I, Reckless Love, How He Loves, mm, Lion and the Lamb, great songs through the history of song searching we have come across. Thank God for them. We live in a time so many people are so far from God and so many people do not know God. They don't want to know God. We need miracle after miracle. Here's the deal. Right here. This is us. You see the see the marks? This is a glass that has been handed down through Lisa's family and it's dirty. But you can run that thing through a dishwasher and it's just stained. It's just old. Uh, probably water stains of all things, um, but we love these glasses. We use these. You know, we can pour water in these and and uh, drink out of them. But this is us. This is us as a people. We are imperfect and stained. We're messed up. We're a mess. But God wants to use this. He wants to use us, and He wants to. To pour himself, the spirit, uh, in us, overflowing. And the things that, uh, that drip out are that, that slosh out as we uh, live our lives is, uh, is miracles. Miracle after miracle. He wants to use us. He wants to uh, allow us to be a part of something bigger than ourselves. And uh, But for me to just walk around and put my own thing, my performance, my, my hard work, my, uh, I think I said grit, you know, just try, 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 and I try to make my own stuff. This is a terrible drink for me to make myself. Um, but for, for Jesus, I, I have this thing. I'm probably going to make a mess, but, you know, for him to pour his water. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't tell my wife. This is what he uses to make a miracle. Allow the Holy Spirit to come in us, to overflow, to turn the water in us, the living water in us, into the miracle. But it all starts with God in us. God in us. It is still dripping on the carpet. Um, I'm expectant of a miracle, but only with Jesus in me. I want you to be the kind of leaders in your church, uh, the kind of servers in your church that fill yourself with God. He will do exceedingly more than you could even uh, want or desire or dream. He will, he will pass your expectations uh, like one of those really 
bad teenage drivers that, you know, that's a bad example. He wants to exceed our dreams. He wants to do way more than we think uh, he can. Expect a miracle. Fill up with God every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Love you guys. Don't tell my wife I made a mess. <laughs>